What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. We're just going to do a real simple uh, kettlebell and bodyweight flow here. So we'll use a Tabata clock for today. Um, we'll start with uh, just some really simple movements. What I encourage you guys to do is to uh, play your own music. I'm just going to keep it silent with the interval playing in the background. Uh, if after we're done with the workout as a whole, if you want to get a little bit longer workout, just run it back and do it a second time. Uh, we'll spend about 20 minutes right now working through everything. And then, uh, you know, if you want to get a longer 40 minute workout in, just run the interval back a second time, possibly with a little bit um, higher intensity. So we're going to hop right in. Our first interval is going to be simply kettlebell swings, air squats, and push-ups 20 seconds on 10 seconds off rotating between those two all right if you have a dumbbell dumbbell swings work just the same so here we go we're going to start with swings squats and push-ups we're going to start here in <clears throat> 10 seconds <clears throat> Beep will go halfway. Next. Next, we'll go air squats. First round will likely be a little bit of a warm up, just moving slowly, smoothly. Let's go. Again, you guys are encouraged to play your own music. Push-ups, go slow, go smooth, modify as needed. Let's go. the top we're going kettlebell swings again let's go Back to air squats. I'll be a little faster than the first round. Let's go. Next. Now push up. These will stay pretty smooth throughout. Let's go. Next. Yep, halfway going back to kettlebell swings for round number three. Air squats, moving a little faster if you can. Let's go. Next. 
push-ups staying steady, modifying as needed. Last time through, one more of each. Air squats, your fastest round. Let's go. Best. And push ups can push a little bit closer to muscle fatigue failure here. Last round. Last. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we have a 90 second break and we're gonna go into our second interval. So we're gonna to continue to go 20 on, 10 off. We'll go through three movements. We're gonna do kettlebell high pulls. We're gonna go a step back lunge to drive the knee. And then we'll do another variation of push up. All right, so just a review of these three movements. We're gonna go kettlebell high pull, same thing if you have the dumbbell between the stance, up high, elbows to the outside. Then we're gonna go step back, lunge to driving knee, a little bit of an aggressive drive, alternating legs. And, and then the push-up, we're gonna drive the knee to the chest each time. Okay. It's gonna look like this, push-up with a driving knee. Driving knee, modified like so, from the ground, drive the knee to the chest, okay? So here we go, interval number two, starting with 20 seconds of kettlebell high pulls. <clears throat> 10 seconds away. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge to driving knee. Lunge to driving knee. Going alternating legs. Let's go. Push up to knee drive. A little bit harder push up here. Take your time, but for quality. Let's go. work back to high pulls back to high pulls let's go Rest. 
lunge to driving knee. Let's go. Push up the knee drive. Let's go. Rest. Good stuff, guys. We're halfway. Back to high pulls. Let's go. Right, guys last time through I'm going to take off the jump this time so I can move a little bit faster with my reps. Rest. And last set of push-ups right here. All right, awesome job, guys. We'll increase the difficulty as the week progresses. We'll also do a little bit of a warm up as well before each um, Tabata session. So today ran about 15 minutes. So you can expect a little bit more um, going forward. It took me a while to get my setup early in the morning today. All right, so if you guys need a little bit more volume, want to get after it for another 15 minutes, just run it back, increase your intensity just a little bit in both intervals. All right. Appreciate you guys. See you later.